Well, hey there, and welcome back for another Second Hand Opinions video. I'm Jason Alderman, the Internet's favorite. Oh, yeah, I can't say that anymore, can I? Well, YouTube is cracking down on my foul-mouthed freedom of speech, and uh, uh, I'm never going to monetize this channel. That's not the point of this channel, but uh, I was okay with that. Now they're cracking down, and they may give me the boot if I don't clean it up, so... Gonna have to play ball, I guess, at least until some new legislation comes down about the laws, etc. Wanted to let you know that they caught a handful of more missing children and probably the people who are doing bad things with them. Let's go over here to the New York Post and take a look. U.S. Marshals, local police, locate 35 missing children in joint operation. Nearly three dozen missing Ohio children have been found, thanks to a joint investigation by the U.S. Marshal Service and local police, authorities said. The 35 kids between the ages of 13 and 18 and from the Cuyahoga County area were located during Operation Safety Net over the past month as part of the investigation into 40 missing children cases, the marshals said. Just over 20% of the found cases were tied to human trafficking. The children were found in cities across the Buckeye State, including Cleveland, Euclid, Akron, Columbus, and Miami, Florida. Authorities are still hunting for five children who remain missing. Leanne Twana Bates, 17, Yolanda Bates, 15, Janaya Scott Lee, 16, Alicia Jackson, 16, and Isaac Ortiz, 16. The U.S. Marshals partner with the police in Cleveland, East Cleveland, and Newburgh Heights, as well as in the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department. They also teamed up with various community agencies. This was new uncharted territory and the first time we conducted an operation like this, said U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott in a statement. I'm very proud of our law enforcement community and media partners who work tirelessly to bring our missing and most vulnerable children to safety. The Fed said because of Operation Safety Net's success, a permanent missing child unit was created in Northern Ohio to focus on those missing, abused, neglected, and trafficked juveniles. Well, there it is, ladies and gents. Uh... You know, 35 more kids picked up off the streets or wherever they were being stashed or hidden or trafficked and hopefully brought safely home back to their parents, their loved ones, and their family and their homes. While the Democrats bicker about all kinds of ridiculous lockdowns and other ridiculous things and impeachment threats over nominations and threats to pack the court and everybody over there just acting a fool, Donald Trump's administration is out there saving our kids. All while he doesn't even take a paycheck. Let's all pretend like our opinions matter. Leave them in the comments below. And remember, this is social media, so do all the things.